Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, this is a general reading, so please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages that don't fit. If you would like a personal reading, all of my contact information is listed below. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever Spirit brings you these messages, that's when they were meant for you. So Tarot is pretty fluid, so typically I don't like putting a date or a month unless spirit brings in those uh, details also I want to thank you guys so much you guys are so supportive for liking my channel um, for you know becoming a subscriber I want to thank you guys so much so first we're gonna look at channel messages and then we're gonna look at the cards and see how they tie into each other so cancer for your channel message I have stop procrastinating stop dragging your feet it's time to pick up the pace. Um, you want to ensure that your all of your ducks are in a row. Um, once the energy shifts, something or someone is coming in for you. So, you know, when spirit says get ready, it is time to get ready because something is going to come in, someone or something, and it is going to affect your foundation um of your household of your family of your money you know and I, I really think that this is something good that's going to come in and really boost your st stability and your security you have foundation and achievement so you know it could be some type of promotion um something that you've worked for something that you're going to be recognized for look at that success you guys have success coming in here. So this is really beautiful. All right. Spirit, what message is for Cancer? So we have the hangman. Okay, we've got the five of cups. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see. All right, so your overall energy <clears throat> is the Ace of Swords. So this is about some type of new beginning, some type of clarity. Um, you have death. This is about you going through some type of transformation, some ending, an ending with a new beginning. You know, ending some type of negative cycle, ending some type of cycle of, of um, that was uncomfortable or painful. This is a successful completion. But your overall energy is is about clarity, um, some type of spark of inspiration. <clears throat> so this is very, very beautiful energy. So there may be certain things that. You don't have a hundred percent clarity on don't worry about those things spirit is going to take care of those things spirit is saying the things that you can control or you need to do um spirit showing me like a stack of papers you know you need to get organized what you can do do um don't save something for tomorrow that you can do today because you have this new beginning coming in and it's coming in fairly quickly and this is something for the long run. This is something that's going to, you know, bring in more money, you know, give you more stability. And you want to be ready for when it comes. All right. So the hangman energy, this is you pausing, reflecting, going within, checking in with your higher self. The hangman energy is not about making a decision. It's about just hanging there, releasing, letting go, surrendering. Um, you could be in your head about things that didn't work out in the past. Past sorrows, past regrets. You have the five of cups twice. So when it comes to the five of cups, you can't stay in that energy of what didn't work out in the past. What didn't work out in the past, you have to take what you've learned from the things that didn't work and move forward because you have two full cups behind you. 
So like I said, don't stay in that energy for too long. And some of you, this is where it's going to be split because everybody is on a different life path, um, a different soul contract. So I feel like some of you, you know, some of you are going to look at the past, learn those lessons and move forward and focus on, you know, the things you can change. Others of you, you know, you have the Nine of Swords here. This is about you losing sleep at night, stressing, um, doubting, you know, really having this lower vibrational energy based off of the past, you know, and that could really hold you back in the future because you have some very beautiful energy coming in here. So don't allow yourself to be trapped. You know, what's done is done. Don't stay in that energy. You have strength here. Now, I'm not taking away from the situation because it might have been really difficult. It might have been very painful. It might have really tested you. But just don't stay in that energy to where you could become a victim, you know? So next you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is about your brand new beginning coming in, something financial in nature, something valuable in nature. I really feel like it's gonna do wonders for your security, for your home life, for your family, for your children. Um, you have the Knight of Cups. So this is some type of genuine offer coming in here. It's something that's just going to, you know, it's gonna make you excited. You're literally going to be celebrating. You know, I feel like you're going to be celebrating because you didn't give up and you were persistent, you know, but you could make it a little bit easier on yourself if you try to move through this energy of the five of cups, you know, don't have any regrets. Just, just think about the past and think about, you know, how you can apply the past lessons to the future. So with the nine of pentacles, this is about your independence. This is about improvement. I feel like it's going to be some type of boost in your confidence and your security. And you have the sun card here. You guys are moving into happiness. This is going to be healing your, the, I feel like it's going to heal your home life too. You know, if you've been stressing about finances, um, or your security when it comes to your home life, you guys definitely have, um, success coming in here success and clarity and it's really i really feel like it's gonna put your mind at ease so you have master the step you are on so i feel like that goes back to the channel message i feel like some of you guys have stuff that y'all need to do but you're just not doing it right now and maybe you're just like well I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next week. This energy is really going to pick up. So if there's anything that you need to get organized, that you need to take care of, any type of permits, if you have a permit expiring, um, paperwork, that's that's all I'm seeing. <clears throat> then make sure you, you know, you get that taken care of. You have thought here. That's that's the beginning. Just being in your head. You know, don't be in your head too much. There's nothing wrong with connecting to your higher self. You know, but when it's time to move forward from those intuitive nudges, then you'll know when to move forward. So really good reading, guys. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.